Okay. Okay. Hey you guys, Aaron, Dusty, and Max here. Welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. <laughs> so today we are bringing to you a very highly requested video. Yes, all, ab <laughs> all about our blood work. We've been getting our blood work done and making sure that we're on the right track for many years. Recently, we've had a request from you guys and other people, our friends and family, everybody wants to know, how's the blood work after being on a vegan, plant-based diet for this many years? So we, thought, <laughs> <laughs> so we thought we would make the video for you guys and prove our health on paper to the world. On top of that, we were also approached by letsgetchecked.com. So letsgetchecked.com actually sponsored this video. We worked directly with them too to do some additional testing. In particular for this video, we did a thyroid test and then I actually did a hormone test to follow up. So Let's Get Checked has been great. They basically mail you a test, you prick your finger, send it back in, and you get your results in days. And it was a lot more of a comprehensive thyroid test, more right. so than what you would normally get at your physician's office, yep. and in the privacy of our own home. So we're gonna show you guys all of that, and we've mentioned to you guys, we've got easy access to a yes. plethora of physicians in the family, yes. <laughs> namely my father. So we went into the office, had our blood work done, yep. had my dad give us the rundown and go over everything with us. <laughs> just really briefly. So we're gonna show you guys all of that and go through our results with you. So in the kitchen, back to blend up our green smoothie that we have almost every morning. Max has been loving it as well. Chopped up a fresh plate of fruit for him. We recently got our blood panels done at the clinic that I work at. My dad being the boss, he agreed to sit down with us and go over our results. On top of that, my mom recently, unfortunately, had a bit of a thyroid problem. There was a lot of swelling and she was sick almost all summer. She had extremely low energy. So that being said, Dusty and I kind of got curious about our own thyroid health. So we're also going to be doing an at-home thyroid test. In case you guys were wondering, my mom is completely fine now she ended up adopting our way of eating eating super super clean whole foods plant-based and her flare-up completely went away that being said Dusty and I got these kits from let's get check.com so these are at home thyroid test kits so I'm gonna walk through this with you guys it looks like the first step is to register online so that they can keep track of us, keep track of our blood results. Please read the instructions carefully. Firstly, fill in your details on the knob sticker located on the inner layer. What are you doing? <laughs> it says your hands should be warm to give blood. I'm cold, so. <laughs> okay, I washed my hands and I'm using the ring finger on my non-dominant hand. Okay, so the blood has been collected. Dusty did his in under a minute, I would say, and mine took me like five to seven minutes, so it definitely varies. Nobody makes me bleed my but it, blood. <laughs> but it didn't actually hurt, did it? No, it didn't hurt. I couldn't do it to myself. We had to lance each other's fingers, so grab a buddy if you're gonna do it. That's our suggestion. Yeah. Then you pack it up, put it in the prepaid shipping label, and send it back. Okay, so it's a few days later. I got an email in my inbox saying that my thyroid test results were in and I was relieved to find out that everything checked out completely normal. So it's really nice to be able to just check it out on your phone. And then another cool feature is that they have nurses and physicians on staff that can explain and go through everything with you. And if something is abnormal, they can advise you as to how to move forward, maybe getting another test done. It's estimated that as much as 20 million Americans suffer from some form of thyroid dysfunction. And on top of that, 60% don't even know. So getting tested is huge, it is key, because on this plant-based lifestyle, it's all about preventative health. We can't stress that enough. Now on to the actual blood work. So we get this done once maybe twice a year you can too at your doctor's office usually your insurance will cover it once a year that being said it's super important especially plant-based or not to get your vitamin D levels checked and your B12 levels checked B12 is something that anyone and everyone should have tested regarded regardless of your diet and lifestyle choices mine was ridiculously high so that was exciting to see and what else do we have these are different minerals all in check Lipid panel, I was excited to see because that's another one. I've had really high cholesterol in the past and it runs in the family. I was happy to find out that I was what 
would be considered in the heart attack proof range. So my dad said he was a little bit jealous of my results. Sorry, dad, maybe you should try the lifestyle. <laughs> Finally, the other big one that everyone should have tested, especially in the winter cold months, is vitamin D. So that was a great result there as well. When I got my thyroid test back from Let's Get Checked, they confirmed that my T4 was still a little bit abnormal. So they recommended some further hormone testing. So like Aaron said, I am and have been a little hyperthyroid. So since I was a kid, I've always had trouble putting on weight. I've always been a little anxious. And most recently, you guys have known that I've had some trouble sleeping. And so I was especially excited when the marker on my thyroid showed up that way. Now I know for sure that that's the, the issue that's been bothering me lately and making me feel not so good. So I am doing further testing to see if it's something serious. Um, it sounds like Aaron's dad said it's not really that serious. We just need to keep continue checking it and keeping an eye on it. Vitamin B12, again, mine's not quite as high as Aaron's, but it's well within the normal range, actually still um, a bit higher. Again, that's because we supplement just because it's something that everybody should be supplementing. So everything again here is good. Testosterone, which is something I've been really worried about. It's gone up and down. And again, that I'm doing another test with Let's Get Checked for my testosterone, but that is also in the normal range, which I was really excited about. My iron test is uh, 148, which again is um, quite a bit higher than it has been in the past. So I, I'm gonna say that it's the lentils. Vitamin D, again, 95 super high within the within the normal range there. Cholesterol was like crazy low. My cholesterol uh, is 121 and I've got some buddies who are my age that have cholesterol over 200 and they're having to go on statin drugs. So this really speaks to the diet like Aaron mentioned before. Taking control of your heart health is key and a plant-based diet is gonna do that. I can show you back when I was not on a plant-based diet and I was about 10 years younger, my cholesterol was actually in like 150 range, which is still fine. But you can actually see that as we're getting older and eating this diet and living this way, that we're actually getting healthier. So it's like super exciting. Talking about my T3 being a little bit out of whack, again, I don't think it's something that's necessarily diet related. Um, it's more has to do with like hormones and stress. So if you guys remember our live that we did, I have been super stressed, whether it's being a new dad and running these businesses and just, I don't know, I'm a stressed out guy once in a while. That being said, I have felt so much better these last couple months. I've been getting more sleep. I've been just doing my meditations, my prayer, like all this stuff that we talk about that I had kind of let fall to the wayside. And I have actually been feeling so much better. I feel stronger, I feel more energetic. So I'm actually looking forward to doing another test and hopefully seeing things go back in, in within the normal range. So like we said before, use that link to get 20% off of your own test because this has been seriously awesome. You have your own platform online and it's just great. Highly recommend it. Okay, so we just got to the office. We're gonna corner my dad and have him explain our blood work because he's a reluctant video person. Are we taping yet? <laughs> we did fairly comprehensive lab work, screening for um, diabetes, pre-diabetic conditions. Uh, Is it good? Yeah. I mean, you know, frankly, it couldn't. Uh, it couldn't be much better. Good especially coming from the situation where you have uh, cardiovascular risk on both sides of the family and a history of hyperlipidemia in the family. Vitamin B12 levels, uh, which were in uh, excellent range, as well as your vitamin D3 uh, levels. The one I'm always worried about is cholesterol. Yeah. yeah. Lipid panel, um, screening of cholesterols, the, the good, the bad, and so forth. Uh, frankly, couldn't be much better than where it's at. <clears throat> Total cholesterol was 160. Anything less than 230 is reasonable. Under 200 is great. Triglycerides were 42, which is about as low as you will find those. Um, the iron levels were perfectly within uh, normal limits. I've been a little bit worried about my iron levels being low, but that's nothing you can't obtain from diet. Right, right. right. And they're not... Um, they're not in a range where it's an issue at all, and certainly from your complete blood count as well. Um, there's no indications at all that you're deficient uh, iron-wise. Uh, 
either. Mm -hmm. So, but that is a big one, especially with babies too. They right. always say get enough iron into their diet when you introduce solids and all that stuff. Right, and you know you're what uh, approximately ten months, you know, postpartum, and this this frankly couldn't look any better than where it is. So. Um, a plus. I think you probably came from excellent genes on your father's <laughs> side, <laughs> in particular. A plus. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in doing your own at-home blood work, be sure and click the link in the description below because Let's Get yes. Checked is offering 20% off with our unique discount code. Yep. So go ahead and do that if you want to nerd out like us and get more invested yeah. in your health because there's no better way to start than to find out where you stand so that you can know where to go moving forward. It's all about preventative health. You guys know the drill. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Leave us some love in the comments below. Follow us on all forms of social media at DB Stanzik, at Aaron Stanzik. Share this video with family and friends. Click the link to get your discount code. And what else? Um, make sure you're subscribed. We would love to have you join the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Yes. And make sure you've got that bell click to turn on your notifications. Totally. Eat, Move, Rest. Yo best. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Yay! So if you guys would be interested in a video where we kind of go over what a day in the life of eating looks like for us, let us know in the comments below. We would love to share that with you guys because it can be difficult sometimes to keep your iron in check or your B12, D3, um, protein even. So we would love to share more of what we eat to keep things in check. So let us know. There are three things we all do every day. And we can all be doing them better. Eat move and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.